Welcome to the PVS Studio channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about what the process monitoring and tracing models in PVS Studio are for, and I'll show you how to use them. The C++ development world offers many different solutions to help organize your projects. Each IDE uses its own project description format. Build scripts are widely used. Some large projects even have their own build systems. At the moment, PVS Studio works directly with Visual Studio solutions and project files. Also, PVS Studio works with JSON compilation database files generated by some build systems, for example, CMake or Ninja. So, can we analyze code that was developed by other tools? Of course. The trick is to run the project build and at the same time trace the compilation process. So let me show how to use it. Before running the analysis, you need to collect information about the project compilation. To do this, we'll use CL Monitor Utility. It's a console program suitable for analysis automation of the server. To visualize monitoring management, let's use a graphical interface called C and C++ Monitoring UI. To start monitoring, click the button with the picture of an eye. In the window that opens, you can specify suppressed database files and an additional configuration file, as well as use the saved monitoring dump. I will tell you about the monitoring dump a little later. Click the Start Monitoring button. This will minimize the tool's main window. In the screen's lower corner, you will see a window that shows the current monitoring status. As an example of a custom build system, we are going to use VC package. When installing packages, the system can use different tool chains to compile code. We will analyze the SDL2 package. When compilation is complete, click the Stop Monitoring button. Additionally, before that, you can select the Save Compilation Monitoring Dump. It's going to save your results of the current monitoring session. After you stop the monitoring, the analysis of the traced files starts automatically. After the analysis is complete, you can view the errors it found. You can do that right in the main application window. You can use the save dump and restart the analysis without re-monitoring. This is useful if, for example, the code changed in some files. However, if you add new files to the project, the analyzer won't analyze them because they are not in the old dump. In this case, you need to repeat the monitoring process. Unfortunately, monitoring is not 100% reliable. In some cases, it may skip some source files. If that happens, you need to repeat the monitoring process. The monitoring of the build systems on Linux we call tracing. This mode does not use the monitoring application. To understand how the project is compiled, we'll analyze the log received by the trace program. To start tracing, you need to run the PVS Studio Analyzer Trace command and then specify the build command of your project. As a result, the project build will start, after which the trace out file will be generated in the current directory. After the tracing is complete, you can run the analysis with the PVS Analyzer Analyze command. Even though the tracing mode allows you to track all files compilation, in some environments, upon the monitoring initiation, the analyzer may issue the following message, no compiler invocations detected. This is because the compiler's executable file has an unexpected name. Check which compiler the build system uses and pass this compiler's name to the analyzer via the C flag. When the analysis is complete, run the plug converter program. Pass the pvsstudio.log file to the program in order to convert the resulting report to the desired format. This simple guide will help you analyze a project of almost any complexity. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss new videos. That's all for now. Clean code to you!